What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today I'm going to run you guys through how you can unlock and participate in the new Forge activity, the Gold Phantom Forge upon Nessus. But before we go any further guys, if you do enjoy the video and would like to show your support, you can by hitting that like button. And if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so you'd think you'd just instantly be able to take part in the Forge activity upon its release, but actually that isn't the case at all. You have to do quite a long quest line, which isn't as simple as you might think to initiate. So step one, to actually start the quest line, you need to load into the new raid upon the EDZ, the Scourge of the Past. Upon landing upon this raid, either in a team or solo, you have to find a stolen Black Armoury item. These can drop from any enemy within the first part of this raid activity and drop completely at random. So just look around, kill what you can. If all enemies are dead and you still haven't got one, simply reload the raid and repeat until you get this to drop. It will drop for you guys, I guarantee it. Now upon its drop, it instructs you to take it to add a one within the tower. She then sends you on a quest line to open the forge, which starts with you having to get 35 more of these stolen black armory items, and you have to do this by getting headshots on fallen enemies within the Tangled Shore. Here simply load up the Tangled Shore area Thieves Landing and just run around in circles around this area, also using that Disco Room Lost Sector to find those fallen enemies. Now not every enemy uh, you headshot drops these, it's like a 1 in 3 chance. Now once you have the 35 headshots and have the 35 things you need, you're then instructed to go and visit Spider, who gives you a continuation on the quest in which you have to get 75 melee kills on fallen enemies and also complete the Thieves Landing Trial Pod Public Event via the heroic version. To be honest, the 75 melee kills on fallen enemies you can get within this area with the public event, so both of these steps shouldn't take you for that long at all. The next step then is to go back and see Spider, who then tells you you have to investigate fallen caches. This is done via a mission on the EDZ within the winding cove area called Spider's Competition. The mission basically consists of you running three lost sectors back to back, the one the winding cove and two in the outskirts. Now if you do these lost sectors and kill the bosses which require you to shoot the drones to disable the shields, but it doesn't let you loot their caches. After that, it's because you have to kill all enemies in the last sector, I do believe. We had this problem. So once you have done that mission, the next step is to hunt down a HVT captain on Nessus. Your best bet here is to go to the Exodus Black area and just travel here and wait. About every five minutes or so, a HVT will spawn in. Most of the time, it's a captain. Simply kill him and move on to the next step of investigate Civix's caches. This can be done via a new mission within the system area on Nessus, as you can see on screen now. This mission is basically again a lost sector. Same rules apply. With the boss you have to destroy the drones to take down its shield, then just mount him. Once you are done here, the next step is to do a mission within the Artifacts Edge area, despite its competition and other Lost Forge, which is basically the new Forge area. So go here and you are confronted by a monstrous servitor called Seracus 9, Kel Scourge, who has a lot of health people. But to be honest, he's pretty easy to kill. Again, take out the drones to disable his shield and do as much damage as you can. Repeat the process until you are done here. Once you've beat this giant bastard, you then have to travel back to the tower and visit Ada 1, who unlocks the Nessus Forge for you and gives you the Black Army Sniper Rifle Schematic, which is another questline for this epic locking sniper rifle weapon, which I am currently working on. But yes guys, the Nessus Gold Phantom Forge will be open to the people who have done this. The recommended power level is a 610. Good luck everybody. And on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, it really does help out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, hit that bell button to turn notifications on. But thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.